This is Movie Tone. Geoffrey Shirley reporting. Two days of international athletics at White City and a walkover for the British girls who completely outclassed the fair sex from France. The 100 metres on the Saturday was an example. Number two, 18-year-old Dorothy Hyman, Britain's top sprinter at the moment, was a second ahead of France's record holder. One result that ran right against the forecast was the men's 10,000 metres. Either Stanley Eldon, number two, or Frank Merriman, number four, should have romped away with it. But the French have a young school teacher, Robert Boget, number one. He certainly came as a surprise to Britain's pair. He set a new all-comers record in 29 minutes, 1.6. Some consolation for Merriman, who was a very close second, he set a new United Kingdom national time. Mary Bignall, sportswoman of 1959, scored the winning long jump. It was told that if she ran for her club, she'd be dropped from the 80 metres hurdles. She decided in favour of the international event. But she only came second, and her club lost their relay without her. Pity that. So to the men again, and Peter Radford winning the 100 metres. He was part of the record-breaking team in the 100 metres relay the same day. The 5,000 metres was a highlight of a meeting in which Britain beat France by 21 points. Constantly changing places, Gordon Pirri, number two, and Frank Salvat, four, against Bernard and the Boger man. And there goes Pirri, setting 40,000 fans crazy with another of his fantastic last-minute bursts of power. He won by 30 yards. What a splendid preview to the Olympics. Let's hope he's wearing the shoes with wings on when he gets to Rome. A celebration.